Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. I'm uh, pissed today, big time. And the reason why is because of a name, Cannon Hennett. And for those of you who aren't sure who Cannon Hennett is, you're probably asking, well, Steve, who's Cannon Hennett? Who's got you all fired up, upset? Well, it's not really a matter of who Cannon Hennett is more better question would be who Cannon Hennett was who was Cannon Hennett Cannon was a five year old little boy in North Carolina playing outside with his little sisters I'm sorry his older sisters who just I think they're seven and eight years old so seven eight five he's the only boy of the three if I, as I understand it or was the only boy outside riding his bike playing and a neighbor walked up to him now the man now remember cannon's five years old neighbor walks up to him point blank range pulls out a gun puts it up to his face his head shoots him in the head kills him five years old the neighbor was 25 years old the neighbor had lived 20 more years longer than cannon got to and you haven't heard the story in the mainstream media, most likely, have you? I haven't heard or seen it on, unless they just did it recently. Haven't heard about it or seen it on CNN, on MSNBC, on CNBC, ABC, CBS. Nothing. One, one mainstream news outlet covered it. If you guessed Fox News, ding, 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 you got it right. The only ones who covered the story. And you know, you'd be asking yourself, well, wow, that sounds terrible. Why wouldn't they cover a story? That's got to be a story. it has got to be news. Well, and it is. And it should be. Except, as it turns out, Cannon was a cute little five-year-old, blondish-brown hair, white kid. The killer was a 25-year-old, or is a 25-year-old black man. There's some stuff that's gone up the story I don't understand because apparently he knew the family. He apparently had eaten dinner with them or eaten dinner with the dad. Um, I don't know if he's crazy. I don't know if he's thought Cannon said something that he didn't like and he's just nuts, so he went out and did something really evil. I don't know if he's just plain evil, and that's why he did what he did. But I do know this. When he gets to jail, and they boys find out what he did to that five-year-old kid, killed him in cold blood execution style, he's gonna have to PC up. I'm just letting you know he's gonna have to PC up. For those of you who aren't sure what that means, PC means protective custody. He's gonna have to get in some type of protective custody because if he does not, he will not last long in jail or in prison. That is faux show. Sadly, though, he's still living, and Cannon's not. Like I said, I don't pretend to know everything there is to know about this story, but I do know this. I don't care if he thought Cannon said something. I don't, the kid five year, was five years old. I don't care if he just thought he was making too much noise. I, I don't care what the, what the reason was. Maybe he's just crazy. Maybe he's just evil. He deserves to be punished. And I can't even begin to imagine what his, little, his sisters, seven, eight-year-old sisters, are going through right now. God bless them. God bless that family. That breaks my heart that they were outside. They saw it. They're going to need help and prayers and likely financial assistance. I don't know if the family has a GoFundMe or not. I know the mom has a Facebook page. Dedicating it to her lost son, her little boy. I'll see if I can add a link to it in the description. But uh, the media should be covering this. This whole wokey woke Black Lives Matter movement and that black people can do no wrong and all this other BS, that's got to stop. People have the capacity for evil no matter what color they are. And I'm not going to pretend to anything else. And the media needs to stop pretending. 
and start actually covering the news instead of what they think we want to hear or what they want to hear each other say and just pass it on to us in their little echo chamber. This is sad. A little boy before his sixth birthday, as I understand it, he was supposed to be going to school next week. Dead. I ask you all to pray for the family. I hope you do. I'm at a loss for words, to be honest. It's just so sad as, as kids dying left and right senselessly. What's happening to this country and the people in it? We gotta do better. We gotta be better. With that, guys, if you decide you like the video, please uh, give me a little thumbs up there. Uh, hit the notification bell. So you know when I'm going to make more videos. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just so sick of this stuff. So sick of what's happening in this country. And how polarized we're becoming over race. And the thing that saddens me the most is this kind of thing. Is the kind of thing that can turn a family. Those little girls. That mom and dad. Against a particular race of people. When matter if the, color, the colors were vice versa. Simp this kind of thing can cause that kind of hate to take place. So I just ask and I pray that God fill their hearts with love and peace and comfort. But I also pray that that monster gets his. And with that, if you don't like anything I said, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment to that as well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Hope you have a great day. Take care.